Okay, so one of um, you you asked me, or I want to walk through how to um, log into Math Excel and get signed up. So, um, in the email I sent you, or on Moodle, in a couple different places, you can find this document right here, which is instructions. It says Math Excel instructions, and so we're going to follow these as it goes through. Um, we're going to go to mathxl.com. Again, you can click this, or we can just go to a web browser, and we can type in www.mathxl.com. Once we get there, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, if you have access, if you've taken a course with COTC before, um, and you've paid for a code, let's say you bought a 12-month code, and it's anywhere you bought it in summer or fall, you can get through this course without having to buy a new code. Um, if you bought a nine month code, um, you're going to need to get a, a new code. It's going to expire by the end. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click sign. Um, again, if you have an old code, you're going to click sign in. You're going to sign in, enter Math Excel, and then up here, you're going to click enroll in a new course. Um, so again, that's only if you have taken a course with Math Excel before and you have an active account. If you do not, you're going to go to register now as a student and then click OK register now. Now there's two options. Either you bought a code at the COTC bookstore. This is a cardboard piece of paper that has a link, a set of numbers inside of it. It looks like this. Or, you can or if you're going to purchase Math Excel directly from the website, you're going to click no, I need to buy access, okay? So again, if you bought the code from the bookstore, click yes. If you have not, go ahead and click no. Um, for this course, you should only need six month access. So um, the only reason you would need to take 12 month access is let's say you wanted to take college algebra or calculus later, you might want to buy the 12 month code so you wouldn't need to buy a new one. It is, it, it's cheaper to buy a 12 month rather than two six. So um, again, most of you, if this is the only math class you need to take, then just go ahead and select the six month code. Um, we're gonna, you can read through the privacy policy and the license agreement. We're gonna click accept. Um, it's 60, 50 for the code. If um, you do have a Pearson education account, go ahead and click yes and log in. This is again, if you've taken another class that had a Pearson product associated with it, you can log right in right there. If you click no, then it's going to ask you to fill out some information. After you go th forth from there, it's going to ask for some payment information. As you go through, at, after you enter the payment information in, it's going to ask for a course ID. So the course ID for your course is right here on, um, on that sheet that Again, I sent it to you in email. It's on the front page of the syllabus. The course ID is in the syllabus. It's on the front page of Moodle as well. So it's all over the place. So you're just going to go ahead and copy that, and then you can paste it in there. Um, you also had a question about where the ebook was. So I'm going to go ahead and show you when we get into Math Excel. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So we sign in. It might look slightly different on your end because I'm on the instructor side, but we're going to click homework and tests. And so your course home, here's what it looks like, okay? Um, to get to the ebook or the textbook, you're going to go to homework and tests, and we're going to scroll down to textbook sections when you all the way at the bottom. So you can see these are going to be all the homeworks for the whole course. I got all the due dates right here. Um, but the textbook section is down here. Now I'm going to warn you that sometimes the textbook does things a little differently than the way we do it in our class. So, you know, the textbook is a good thing to take a look at, but what I want to also encourage you to do is make sure you're going to our course in Moodle. So when we go to Moodle.com, here's our course right here, and we have videos and notes that we work through in here, and these align much more closely with what you're going to see on midterms and finals and the other stuff in class. So please make sure that you're using these notes first, and then after you go through and you watch these videos and you take these notes, then if you need extra help, you can click on the textbook sections.